Okay, hello, my name is Megan, and today we're gonna be doing my June favorites. I, June, July favorites. Oh my gosh, I don't want that man. So that's what we're gonna kinda do. My dog got scared and she has run away from me. Come here! She's definitely one of my favorites. Come on! Come on! Come on! I want to show the people you. Come here. Come here, little, little. She's definitely one of my favorites. Her name is Colby. She is a rescue. Well, we adopted her. Um, she is a corgi dachshund mix. You can definitely see the corgi in her. But she's a hair of a dachshund. And one of her ears sticks up like a corgi, and one of them sticks up like a dachshund, and it's my favorite thing. He's clearly not liking this position. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. She's definitely one of my favorites this month. I think she is literally my favorite person on the planet. Typically when I'm doing my makeup, she actually sits up here. Alright, let me let her out, and then I'll be back. Okay, now that she's out, I left the door open. I'm supposed to be getting a dog door soon, but I don't have one yet. But, I'm going to share with you my july favorites now although she's one of my favorites but anyway <laughs> so one of the first ones i'm going to do is fashion it is this what happened to my string there used to be a string on here i don't know what happened to it it must be still in the house but these are shorts i got from american eagle these are like the paper bag shorts these are literally my favorite things in the world they have stretch on the back and then they're kind of like stable in the front and they are so cute and honestly they're one of my favorites i think because i had surgery back in may on my <laughs> abdomen which newsflash i'm having surgery again if you don't follow my vlog channel please do because i didn't talk about that but uh, i'm having surgery yet again so to fix something that went wrong in the first surgery it's a whole thing it's someone's fault it's just my body's weird but i've been loving this kind of style because it doesn't hurt and i find with jeans it can hit my like not necessarily my scar but can hit the area and so this is just really cute i love i'm like loving this green color too for summer so yeah I, but i like any type of short like this i'm actually wearing another thing of shorts like that i mean i can get up and show you can i just can you see them they're super cute i'm obsessed so let's get on to one more product that is not makeup um but is this shot the shop andy um scrunchies i did purchase a few new ones let me get those these are my favorite obviously you can see i have a lot of them and then i did pur purchase i did purchase this one recently which i've already worn and then this cute little strawberry one like look at how cute i haven't put it on here yet but because i haven't worn it yet but let's take this off and i honestly think it's so cute i have one in my hair right now i just took the little bow like this you can take off and so sometimes I just do that, just if I'm doing something like that. And then I got this, which is another very cute thing for summer. I think especially it like makes adds to your look. I don't really wear headbands very often because my head shape is weird, so whatever. And then this is like a little scarf that you can either like put like this, wrap around. Obviously that doesn't really, really work for me, but um, yeah. I have... A big net well it works like that but i'll just kind of wear it like that that's what i do and yeah but these are my favorite go check them out it's a woman owned company go check it out i have so many it's ridiculous um and they're all in this like ring situation let's pop you on there and honestly i just they just go well with any look i have some with bows some without so i have some of these big ones this has like been my favorite one for summer because it has like three tones. It's really cute. I also love this because I've been into this like mustardy color lately or like these. I love them. Anyway, moving on. Let's talk about makeup now. Now let's talk. I have like three palettes sitting in front of me. This is absolutely atrocious, but you know, you'll get the vibe. So I love this Alyssa Edwards palette from ABH. I've it's actually what I have on my eyes right now. I have a combination of these two colors on my lid. And then I have this one on the bottom. And I just love it. I think it's so pretty. And I love the like different looks you can do. It's very out there. But this has been one of my favorite go-to things. 
And then the next one, if you can purchase this, please do. It is the Pac-Man Wet n Wild cult like palette. I have been using this a bunch. I love it. I think it's honestly super colorful. I've been into super kind of colorful looks these days. So honestly, if you can get it, go get it. And I've also been kind of in like a drugstore kind of kick. So I'm going to show you that. And it's this Revolution Makeup Palette, this Soft X Revolution Extra Spice Palette. Again, see those bright colors? I've been loving this palette. I think it's really good for the price. You can get it at Ulta. And honestly, it's one of the best ones. I think the quality of their products are absolutely incredible. So go check them out amazing so the next thing i guess we're kind of working on the eyes right now okay so this next thing again is another one from makeup revolution it is the cut crease canvas um i don't i have the color illustrate and honestly i just use this as an eyeshadow base i also use it for a cut crease if i'm gonna do one and i kind of because this brush is a little bit odd i put it on my hand and then take my own brush i take this brush from e.l.f. and use that because it's short and stubby and it works really well. But I've been loving this for cut creases or an eyeshadow primer if I'm just gonna do a full drugstore look, which I have a tutorial that's coming. So don't you worry if you wanna see a full blown tutorial on drugstore makeup, it's coming. Um, I'm gonna do like a back to school look, although I am having surgery again, so I'll have to film that soon. I'm trying to film a little bit ahead so that I have some backlog videos. But I love this. I think it's amazing. So the next thing is this foundation. It is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. I have the shade 150 Creme Brulee. It has this nice little pump. It's really nice. I really like this. Um, it is a bit um, full coverage. And I would say typically for the summer, I don't really do the whole full coverage vibe. But I would say sometimes I just need it. I'm actually wearing the next foundation I'm talking about. So a few foundations I'm really loving this summer. And this just happens to be one of them. So the next foundation is this NARS foundation. It is the Velvet Matte Foundation Stick. I have Salon, Salon? I don't know, Light 6. And this is the foundation. Sorry, it has a hair in it because it's the foundation I'm wearing today i will be sh uh filming a nighttime skincare routine because my skincare has kind of changed up a bit and it's actually helping my foundation in the morning because i don't wash my face in the morning i do a whole thing at night and then i kind of just like when i'm in the shower kind of like rinse it with water and then i do use a little bit of micellar water or toner after that when i get out of the shower and that's kind of the way it works so yeah that's this has been one of my favorites so I'm going all out of order, I'm sorry. But the next thing is this e.l.f. primer, this poreless putty primer. Um, I honestly just take a stippling brush and use that. I don't like using my hand, um, but this is what it looks like. I think it works really well. Again, I have very oily skin, so if you don't have oily skin, I don't know how this is gonna work, but I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. I have no complaints. My skin looks amazing today, which part of that is Doing the new skincare routine, part of that is just kind of figuring out, not making my skin look super, like I have dehydrated oily skin, so I have to be very careful because my skin gets very oily, but it also can look a little bit dry in certain areas. So just pointing that out there. So next thing is this CoverGirl concealer. I have the shade Fair Porcelain. Now I have a darker shade in the L'Oreal version of like what would be the shape tape. I also have shape tape as well, but um, I don't like the L'Oreal one as much because it has a weird scent that I don't appreciate. So yeah, like I like this one a bit better. Um, this is what the L'Oreal one looks like. This is more my color at the moment. I have the color 325. However, again, like I was saying, it's just, it has a weird scent. So I do prefer this one. Again, I've been trying out a whole bunch of new uh, drugstore products because I feel like I want to do a drugstore look for back to school because it's getting back to school I'm going back to school because I'm a grad student so I'm going back to school and I just feel like that's kind of a better use of money than spending all your money on high-end products which I have a lot of high-end so I kind of have a mixture of both now and yeah so this one 
I like it better than the L'Oreal one and it's been one of my favorites because again it's a cheaper option if you want to it's very similar to shape tape so if you want shape tape and don't want to spend the money I would get this just saying and then the next one is this highlighter which I'm sure if you've watched a lot of my get ready with me's and tutorials and I'm not sure if I talked about this last month as well but it is this wet and wild it's lit I'm or I'm so lit highlighter it's the one I'm wearing now can you can we just talk about this whole situation it looks freaking crazy and just like bright and I like highlighters like this I know some people like a little bit more natural highlight I, it's not really my jam so I prefer something that's better put highlight on I want to be blingy this is amazing if you see it purchase it because it's seven dollars and it's gonna last you um I mean freaking forever like this thing is huge um and I honestly just like open this because it has a whole bunch of products on it already and I just use my brush and kind of put it on my face kind of tap it off a little bit use on my face so the next one is this blush it is the burnt bees blush burnt bees blush in bare peach looks like this don't have this I have another blush which I'm talking about in a second this honestly one of my favorite blushes it's very muted which I appreciate I think for some looks I prefer that especially if you're going with more of a natural look and it is drugstore and I'm just obsessed look I love it I'm gonna pick up more of these formulas because I really like the formula of that so the next one is this L'Oreal enchanted blush in just curious this is the blush I'm wearing today I think it's supposed to smell like peaches it doesn't really smell like peaches to me but I'm obsessed with the blush I'm wearing on today it's very light, it's very pigmented, and it's absolutely incredible. So, go get it. So, my last two products are the same. It is these Physicians Formula Skin Boosters. I have the brightening one, and I also have the hydrating one. I've been using the combination of these two at night, and my skin does not get super oily in the morning, which is why I can go without washing it in the morning. And I just feel like it saved my skin. And then in the morning, I just use this one um, underneath my, like, when I'm, before I put moisturizer on. And I think the combination of these two are amazing. I got them both for $7.99, although I think they are normally $12.99. But on Target, I got them for $7.99 each. So if you're looking for, like, more of a serum and you don't want to spend the money on a high-end serum, I would definitely check these out um because they're both amazing i don't know how they would work for someone that has dry skin because obviously i don't have dry skin i have very oily skin so i don't know how much hydrating this is going to do but it does give me a lot of hydration so i'm assuming if you have drier skin it might work um but i love i love brightening my skin right now because that's i'm all about skincare and making sure that my skin looks a little bit good it looks a little better because one i've had surgery recently and I'm going to go into a second surgery pretty soon. I surgery back in May. I'm going into another surgery now. And I've been on antibiotics and just a whole bunch of junk that um, has dried out my skin. Not only dried out, but also just made it look a little bit dull and it's just not looking great. So I would say definitely check them out because they're incredible. And then for lipsticks, I'm going to share this, which is this Morphe lipstick and hot shot i really like this i did just do a i just filmed i think it'll be up next week or the week after a summer lipsticks video uh, where i talk about all my favorite lipsticks the one i'm wearing right now which is also my favorite but i left it in my purse so i don't have it to show you it is the color pop ultra satin lip i want to say in the shade oh hi there and i'll post a picture of it here but it's honestly one of my favorites it's been one of my go-to's lately um but yeah, it's in that video, so I'll kind of, when that goes up, make sure to watch it because I talk about all about my summer, um, summer favorite lipsticks, even though it's a little bit late for summer. But you know, better late than never, guys. It's been a crazy summer. So anyway, <laughs> that was a really rambly video, and I will see you guys next time. I love you guys. Bye!